If you're looking for an adorable new house pet that you don't have to feed or clean up after, well, German company Festo might have the perfect creature for you, a robotic kangaroo. Dubbed the bionic kangaroo, the experimental robot can jump more than a foot high and three feet forward thanks to elastic tendons and batteries that recharge on landing. The kangaroo was produced as part of a program studying animals as a model for new technology. Festo head of communication, Dr. Heinrich Fronsek, said that with the bionic kangaroo, we've precisely reproduced the most characteristic features of natural kangaroos, recuperating and storing energy and then releasing it once more in the next bound. Alex, you're the roboticist here. How does this work? Yeah, so there's been a long history of uh, roboticists looking at nature for inspiration. Everything from how salmon swim to um, yeah, a kangaroo. Uh, the interesting thing about this is how it stores energy and releases it. So I, it uses tendons on the side like a kangaroo would have because uh, they give it like a spring. So as the, as the kangaroo lands, that energy can be stored and then released again on the next hop. Um, and obviously there's friction involved, so you need to add a little bit more energy, uh, but this creates a more efficient way to, to hop forward. Yes, just to clarify, this is not a perpetual motion machine. There is a some, there is some loss, alas. I'll, I'll still keep holding out hope. Jacqueline, obviously this is a subject dear to my heart as an Australian, to see kangaroos storm the world in robotic, perhaps apocalyptic fashion. Uh, what, do you think that we're going to see more and more types of animals, types of, uh, of, of, I guess, mimicry in terms of the kinds of robots that we make? Absolutely. And I mean, Alex, you know, mentioned before that this is just another example of how within the world of technology, we are looking at nature to help improve what we're able to engineer. So I think it's really awesome. And I wouldn't mind having it hopping around, you know, my place and, <laughs> and getting to experiment with it a little bit. I just hope it's not as violent as, as real kangaroos, which can occasionally use one claw to rip your gut out if they don't like you or if they're okay. protecting their infants. Uh, Kyle, uh, what do you reckon? I mean, the way that kangaroos jump is actually really cool because they sort of use their tail as this big third leg and they're bal they balance back on their tail and everything. Seems to me like a kind of a complicated thing to figure out how to do without any biological material. Sure, that's why we kind of have to look to nature to do these things in the first place. This isn't the first... Uh animal-inspired technology this company has come up with. They've also done the same thing with jellyfish and I think even penguins. And when you're looking at kangaroos specifically, they release enormous amounts of energy in their legs. They can cross uh, an American basketball court in about two hops when they're going at full speed. So that's why we're really looking to things like this because nature has had the benefit of trial and error engineering through evolution for billions of years. And it comes up really with stuff with amazing things i know of another technology um, it's called sharklet which uses the patterns of shark scales called denticles on their bodies to help reduce bacterial transmission and infections in hospitals so we look to nature because it's already been engineering these things for so long and who knows what they might come up with in the future by so long i assume you mean the six thousand years since adam and eve walked the earth well, you know, if you believe one book versus what mm, we've discovered mm, in the mm. interim. Just wanted, to, just wanted to clarify that. Competing theories and all. Of course, uh, of course. <laughs> a robot must aid its humans in their self-pleasure. Scientifically speaking, the VG Tenga is a grip-based haptic controller, an artificial vaginal simulator 